Warhammer 40k Mechanicus is a turn-based tactics RPG in similar vein to XCOM, but with the addition of some roguelite elements that will feel familiar to anyone who has played Darkest Dungeon, thanks to its procedurally generated map system. The main gameplay of Mechanicus revolves around three core elements. The turn-based strategy battles themselves, the procedurally generated map exploration, and outfitting your team with gear before you send them out on missions, or to their demise. These units can be outfitted with all kinds of various weapons and tools to use in battle, along with overall upgrades through a tech tree. Be cautious with your funds, however, because this resource is also used to bring along extra strong units with you on missions. This reliance on just one currency is a smart way to make players consider the risk-reward of every single upgrade they make, rather than just clicking away mindlessly to max everything out. The missions themselves play out on these procedurally generated maps that have you going room to room all while making decisions on micro situations that can either help or hinder the party, along with the growing risk of enemy encounters. Don't spend too much time moving all around the map, however, because every time you advance a room, a meter will constantly get closer and closer to upping the overall challenge for you the longer you take. This whole system reminds me a great deal of the room-to-room -room traversal in Darkest Dungeon that punishes you for taking longer by reducing your visibility, increasing your stress, and using up your food, requiring you to consider every single move you make. This overall map element is more so a means to give the player some agency over the in-between proceedings between the core element of the game, the battles themselves. The combat system in Mechanicus has you moving your core team of units around on a grid, think XCOM or Final Fantasy Tactics if you're familiar with those, and also being able to call in reinforcements from your reserve team in between rounds. Your units are encouraged to gather cognition points from all around the map that can provide various uses in battle. These points can be spent to allow your units to travel and act more than they would normally be allowed to during one turn, or give them access to their most powerful weapons, temporary buffs, or healing. Wisely planning your advance to gather this resource all while fighting off the enemy is a core element to your success. Enemies themselves do not display health bars or weaknesses unless they're targeted by one of your probes that reveals this useful intel, adding an air of mystery to most encounters. Some enemies when killed will enter a down state that if enough turns pass without them being finished off, they will get right back up into the fight, requiring you to confirm your kills. The battles themselves can be pretty brutal, and since your units stay dead for the remainder of the mission, caution is advised whenever advancing on the enemy. Warhammer 40k Mechanicus is shaping up to be quite the challenging tactics RPG that gives you just the right amount of tools to always be successful, but it's up to your tactical ingenuity on how to be effective. Mechanicus is launching later this year, and I'm interested on how much these battles can diversify themselves in the final release, so the overall experience stays enjoyable for dozens of hours and doesn't get repetitive. If you enjoyed this style of preview coverage, consider subscribing and checking out my Patreon that helps fund this channel. This has been Deadite from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for watching.